In this Geico tutorial, you're going to learn how to add accessories to components. First, let's cover how to add a very basic accessory to a component, an accessory that is not represented by a symbol on the schematics. For example, let's add a legend plate as an accessory to this pilot light. It's usually a good idea to ensure your main component, in this case the pilot light, already has a part number defined before adding accessories. So I'll go ahead and assign a part number to this pilot light from the catalog. One way to add an accessory to a component is to go to the Create Add tab and select New Accessory. A window pops up where you can choose which class of accessory you wish to add. To keep things simple, I'll just choose the top level Generic Accessory class. As you can see, an accessory has been added. Now let's give it a part number and whatever other details we want. And save it to our catalog just as we do for other components. Our legend plate accessory has been saved to the catalog. Let's close this window, open the parts list, and here is our accessory. Another way to add accessories to components is directly from the parts list. Let's add the same legend plate to this pilot light for example. Again, I'll assign a part number to the main component before adding an accessory. This time, I'll choose a different part number. Now, double click on the component you want to add an accessory to, go to the Create Add tab, and select New Accessory. I'll continue to keep it simple by choosing the Generic Accessory class, and click OK. A blank accessory has been added. Of course, we could add a new accessory part number, but I'll just choose the one we just saved to the catalog. And there it is, ready to go. Something worth noting is that if you save a main part to the catalog, it will include the accessories attached to it. For example, let's save this main component to the catalog which has a legend plate accessory attached to it. This pilot light part number has now been saved to the catalog, including the accessory. OK. And let's close this window. Now, if I take LT3 and assign that same part number from the catalog to it, the legend plate accessory will automatically be included. Of course, if you don't want that accessory, you can delete it or change it. And if you don't want the main part to automatically include an accessory anymore, just delete the accessory and save the main part to catalog again. Save to catalog. OK. Next, let's add an accessory that is represented by a symbol on the schematics. Let's go back to the schematics for that. For this example, let's add some auxiliary contacts to contactor C1. Let's say we want to add clip on auxiliary contacts here. First, we'll assign a part number to the main component, C1. I'll choose a part number which includes a coil, power contact, and a built-in normally open auxiliary contact. All of which have already been used on the schematics. What we don't want to do is insert auxiliary contacts from the contactors library folder and link them to C1. This would have the effect of telling SkyCAD that these auxiliary contacts are built into the contactor, which is not what we want. We want them to be known as accessories so that they show up as accessories in our parts list. So, instead, scroll down to the bottom of your symbol library and open the Accessories library folder. These symbols are different in that they are classified as accessories. So when we insert them onto the schematics, we're immediately asked to please select the main component to which you wish to assign this accessory. Click OK. And in this case, I'll choose C1. Let's do that again for the normally open contact. Going to the parts list, we can see that these contacts have been added as accessories to C1. As with the earlier legend plate example, you're encouraged to assign part numbers to these accessories and save them to your catalog. When doing so, you'll probably want to navigate to the symbol and make sure the pin numbers are correct. The 
Then enter the accessory part number and other details and save it to catalog. Save to catalog. I'll close this window for now. By the way, if you'd like to create an accessory symbol that behaves like these, you can create the symbol in the same way as you would for other symbols, shown in the Making a Symbol tutorial. The only difference being that when you are asked which class the symbol belongs to, you should choose the Accessory class. The final topic we'll mention in this tutorial is accessory layouts. Some accessories need to be laid out on your panel layout, such as the legend plates we used in this example, or rotary handles fitted to circuit breakers by means of a shaft. Creating a layout for an accessory is done in exactly the same way as for other components. For this, see the Creating a Components Layout View tutorial. Once you have a layout defined for an accessory, you can insert it onto your panel layout by following the steps in the Laying Out Accessories tutorial.